Hello there, I'm David Harvey and in this masterclass I'm going to be talking to you about this wonderful Georgian mahogany and inlaid secretaire bookcase. To stay up to date with recent acquisitions, tips about caring for your cherished pieces and free antiques fairs invitations, why not subscribe to our newsletter using the link below. Now this one dates from about 1785 and there are any number of ways in which we can tell that just from the overall proportions and from the way it's made. It's details like these glazing bars here with this gothic arch here at the top, the carved palm leaves there on the top of the astragal. It's also the inlays which you can see up at the top in the center there and again the inlay all the way around the secretaire drawer. But it's the most beautiful piece of furniture, beautifully made. The shelves are all adjustable in height. And here's an interesting thing. When you have shelves like this, the adjuster, the slot into which the shelf goes, finishes there. Well, it would do, wouldn't it? Because you couldn't very well put any books below that height. And the same in the top, it stops there, which is a very important indicator. If you get a bookcase where this shelf slide adjuster goes right the way down to there, then that would always indicate that the bookcase top has been much larger and then cut down to fit the current piece. Now with this one, the drawer is beautifully made slides open and just look at all of that. Again you've got this combination of black and white checker banding going around all the drawers. Again you've got the same with the line inlay here and again you've got the same sort of inlays around the top. But this one has that much more. Very much in the 1780s, 1790 feel. You've got these little pieces here in this green wood, which is what we call hair wood. Hair wood is actually green stained sycamore. And it's called hair wood because the German word for stained sycamore is Erholz. And it was Erholz that became hair wood in the English language. But we have more because you've also got these lovely inlaid columns here and there. But you know what? How on earth do you get those out without breaking a fingernail? Well, the answer is that there is actually a hole at the back there to enable you to put your finger in and extract that. Again, beautifully made, beautifully finished. Secret compartments. And I know everybody loves secret compartments. And this has got two of them. You can see on either side here of the central door, which again continues the theme with the checkered banding going all the way around it. And the burr wood that you see on the front of all the drawers, it could be burr yew wood or it could be amboina. Very difficult to tell. But what we have here is a first class piece of Georgian cabinet making, exquisitely finished. And all these little things would have cost more. The cross banding in satin wood, the hair wood inlay with these false columns here, the oval patera there in the middle or shell inlay and again up at the top. They would have all cost more and because they cost more it would have meant that this went to a better home. And you can tell that this is a top grade piece. Everything just works so well, so smoothly. All the drawers run beautifully. And I was thrilled to get this piece. We have a letter from the last owner's father 
instructing him as to how this was to be disposed of. It came from a house not terribly far from here in Whitney. And I'm very pleased and very proud to have it here now. Thank you for watching this masterclass. You can subscribe to our channel by pressing the notification bell below. I look forward to seeing you again very soon.